Okay, today we're talking about a tank type water heater that is having an issue of the pilot light not staying on. So if you look closely at the water heater gas valve, you'll see this status light code sticker and the number of flashes of the status light will tell you what the status is of the gas valve. And that'll help you troubleshoot the water heater. Woo! Some, some manufacturers will have this status light code on a sticker on the side of the water heater unit itself. Today, we're, this is a Honeywell gas valve. So the first thing I checked at the bottom of the water heater is that um, high temp switch or limit switch here. So if that is tripped and it was not tripped, but if it is tripped where it pops, the button pops out, that would indicate an overheat condition inside the, the combustion chamber. And you can test those to see if they are in good working condition. So we turn the gas off first. Make sure it's cooled down to the touch. You don't want to burn yourself. checked and yeah it's not depressed so you move these two screws to access the combustion chamber you also need to break loose your connections up top on your pilot tube and for the main burner gas tube where they attach to the bottom of the gas valve before you can pull out this assembly That's what I'm doing now. I'm breaking loose my connections there. And depending on how long your wires are, you may have to disconnect them or in my case, they were long enough, I was able to leave them attached. Give you some more light. So you can see the pilot tube has been disconnected. And I disconnected the igniter wire, that orange wire. So you can see how dirty and sooty the thermopile is and the pilot is. Wow. There's your burner. Inspect the gasket. Inspect inside the combustion chamber. Inspect that black filter that goes around the bottom of the water heater. That stainless steel grate is a flame arrester. You can see how dusty and dirty it is inside here. So we're going to vacuum that out, blow it out, brush it out. Because if you have inadequate airflow, air comes through that, that filter that wraps around the bottom of the water heater and comes up through that flame arrester. And if that's plugged with dog hair or dust, debris, etc., you're not going to have proper combustion, water heater is going to shut down. So gently you can vacuum that out, blow it out.
You get the idea. <laughs> so I took some steel wool and very gently cleaned the thermopile, the pilot, and the igniter tip. I also made sure they were secure because if they're loose, if that mounting screw is loose and they're wobbling around, that, that pilot assembly wobbles around or moves, that can also be part of your problem as well. So make sure it's secured and clean. So after cleaning the combustion chamber, cleaning the pilot assembly, reinstalling everything, turning the gas back on, and using some bubble leak detector on my uh, gas line connections, everything tested good. You can see we're, we're burning a nice clean blue flame through the window here. So we're good to go. Woo! I will tell you sometimes a simple cleaning and inspection solves a problem. Other times it does not. For example, the other day went out to a customer's house and they had a water heater that would not turn on and it had an error code 7 and according to the chart meant it had a bad um, gas valve so we had to replace that gas valve but again even on that unit I did the inspection cleaned everything worked okay for a little while and then the error came back but always start with the simple obvious things first is the filter clean is everything tight is the pilot assembly clean is that uh, flame uh, um, flame arrestor clean, etc. I hope this information helps. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment for future video topics you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching.